Hey everyone, this is Brian. I'm just doing a quick video on the display preferences for Windows 10 and the setup for display on ProPresenter. Because we had an issue recently where the computer was mirrored, so it had this image with all the desktop on here and up on the display. So first you need to right click on the desktop and then go to uh, display settings. Once display settings comes up, you'll see that it says 1 and 2 on both screens. So you can even click identify, and when you identify, it's one and two in both places. So the problem is that the computer is on duplicate displays. So if you go to extend displays, it'll fix this normally. But on this computer, what happened is somebody had set the external monitor or display to the main display. So when we changed it, it popped up out there with all of our desktop and then if you don't click keep changes it reverts back and it's mirrored again to one and two so once you change this wherever the main display pops up you need to first click on keep changes and that will keep it from reverting back to the mirrored mode and then you can grab the display and slide it oh wait I'm sliding the wrong direction you can grab the display and slide it onto the computer. And then here you'll see one and two. So now when you click identify, you'll see that the local monitor is actually two and the external is number one. The reason for this is this motherboard has an HDMI and a display port out and the HDMI out is number one. So first thing I'm going to do is rearrange the displays. So this is the order. This is the local display on two and this is the external display on one. So then after I do that I'll go down to the local display where it says extend these displays but underneath it it says make this the main display. So because of the order on the outputs I'm going to make this now the main display and you'll see my desktop return to the local display. So now with it extended, we now have the space is separate where we have the local desktop and the extended output showing up properly. So after this, you're probably also going to run into a problem with ProPresenter because it configures itself compared to what the computer has. So let's open up ProPresenter. And here, once we're in ProPresenter, we'll click on the slide. So we have a slide outputting to the main secondary display. But when you click on output up here in the right corner, oh, that's funny, ProPresenter fixed itself. So this is normally what happens when the displays are messed up like this. So I'll show you what I found wrong earlier. If you go into preferences and display, you'll see that we have stage display which is not a feature we normally use and then the output is on the computer's monitor 2 which in this case is labeled 1. So if I drag out over to 1 which is our our local display and then click the output button now we'll see it pops up like this which is the problem that was happening earlier. So if you ever get this and the computer is configured properly you go down to the corner here and click on the X in the left corner and so the output will turn back off because it's trying to output to the local monitor. So when you find this problem, go to preferences again and display. Now all you do to fix this problem, as long as you see both displays showing up here, is you grab output from one and drag it to two. Once that's done, you can close preferences and when you click on output, now the output is outputting to there properly and you have your local display here. So that's it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be happy to help you. All right, bye.